Hello guys, this is the review on the Remington Sportsman Cleaning Kit, Toy 7-Piece Gun Cleaning Kit. It does uh, rifle, shotguns, and handguns. Here's what is all inside of it. The set includes, you got your wire brush uh, right here, plastic brush right here, uh, handgun and rifle adapter there, uh, and these are all your calibers, this is your, uh, this is your, sh uh, where is it? Sorry, but there's, I guess they missed one piece. But there's your shotgun adapter for your, your shotguns. And then these are your, like, uh, cotton ball things, I call them. And there's your swab mounts. These are three-piece cleaning rod. These are swabs. I already took mine out of this. I I paid, by the way. This is how much I play at my local Dunham's. But I got the coupon, so I got about half this. So this is the box it comes in. Uh, it's pretty cheap. It's like a, I don't know, I guess it's like a paneling. Uh, this is pretty cheap too, and it likes to stick to the top, but the inside's pretty nice. I already used mine. I already used the, and they are all labeled, if you look. One second, let me adjust this. Okay, here we go, auto adjust. Right there, you can... It's just 12. Oh, this is, I should say 12. This is 12. Sorry. Yep. 1, 2, 12 gauge. I already used that for mine. And I used this. You gotta be careful with these because when you screw this onto it, this, some of these, here I'll show you for instance. That's the 12 gauge. That's also the 12 gauge one. Uh, this is the. 20 gauge and uh, I'm this all one handed today. Oh, crap. Ugh. I'm doing this one handed, so cut me slack. Uh, it is supposed to. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me do this. It should. See, it screws on. See if it gets stuck. Look, I got a whole bunch of thread left. So sometimes you gotta rock it back. And what happened to mine is it got stuck. I sprayed it with WD-40 a whole bunch and it loosened it up so I could get it off and off. But, you know, when you're right through a dirty gun, that's my clean in 10 years, it tends to jam. And they have little burrs on them, sort of. And this is just for the, this is the 20 gauge P cleaning piece. And it does, oh, here, okay. The swab, there's not as many swab things here as there are brushes here because it goes 38 for uh 40 45 410 20 gauge 12 gauge uh 22 uh 30 uh, i don't know what this is. um that's a 22 oh crap come on mm, i think it's 25 Okay. Okay. This is twenty-five. So you got twenty-two, twenty-five, two seventy. Right. Answer two seventy. Nice pokey oh, shirt. So you make out 270. Sorry, I'm looking through the camera and it's like horrible. Because last time I did a video. And I did get my shoe off, so I'm not walking shoe off. 30 cal. This is your 30 cal cleaner. So you can do a lot. So you got. But see, like your rifles. There is. There is. You don't screw this all the whole time. Here. Right, I didn't clean any rifles or anything, but see, you got this bronze piece. Well, this one's a lot bigger for your shotgun. It's like your four tons and your twenty gauge and your twelve gauge. But this one you use for like your. Here, I'll show you. I mean, I personally don't have a twenty-two. But I have buddies that do, and you screw it on like usual. It's just twenty-two, and you get this. 
and we'll show you guys how to put this together. So, so I stick this in here and it's just in there. It's all screwed together. Get nice and tight. You go in there. Push down. See, here it's just like this. But this whole thing, it turns. See, it's got slack. It spins on you. Well, it'll spin, so. It's pretty poorly made. But for the price, it's great. And me, you know, I don't, I only own, I don't really own any, so. I only own probably one of all, all these. But here, for instance, it was nice about having me a three piece. Is that, let's say, you don't want to clean a rifle, you want to cleave your 38 special. Okay, your 38 special. Cleaning brush here. You know, so this is 38, they're labeled. Get on here, the wire brush. Okay, get on here. Spin on just like normal. Inside there. Hold on to the rod, by the way, because it will spin. And you can't go in there and just twist your handle because it won't twist the rod. But then, like I said, it's only like. I don't know, a foot long like this, and a green handle. It's nice because you can grab it like this. It's a nice spot. Then you can go, and you clean your, your little pistol. You know, then they got 22, uh, 25 cal, 270, and your 30 cal. Uh, yeah, your 30 cal still fits this, I think. And then you start going into the shotguns, and I'll show you that. In a minute. But, see if you have your 40. Your 45, let's see your, your 410 does not go into this one. So you gotta reach up here, your little box on the end. Um, by the way, when I got mine, they were all scattered up there in the black foam. But you would get this piece, the one that I've been eating today. See, these buggers are hard to get out. If it gets stuck like that and you got thread, you gotta. Work it a little bit. Get where out those burst because it likes to do that on me. Or you can just twist your rod on. Do this. Off. Um. So it does not go on like just one piece. You have to have something bigger. So here we go. This this next it don't really matter, but it has to be a thinner one next. You see, they have a thinner one. The next one's a little bit thicker. So if you guys have one of those like Judge four ten revolvers, you're gonna have to extend this, or it ain't gonna fit. I'm just gonna put mine on all the way. I'm just twisting it. Okay. Little four ten piece. And the end piece has those threads in it. Three warnings. So that's your end piece. Skin on. And you are ready to go. This is, I think, 30 inch. This is 30 inches long with your piece on it. So, you can claim all your up, all your guns. Unless you got like a big 50 cal now. Unless you know, ain't going to do that. But it will do any hunting rifle that it's with. For instance, here, let's, let's use a 12 gauge here for a minute. You got a 12 gauge. Uh, this is perfect for a 12 gauge. I already used mine, so I don't have to worry about it getting stuck on me. Mine's clearly dirty. I just cleaned mine yesterday. So, there so you go, 30 inches of my 30 inch barrel. A little spool thingy on the end, and then you'll. What I like to do with mine is I take off this piece here. When I'm done with this, this is my first. So I use this first, get all the big dirt out. You know, it's already looking pretty clean, but you can't see your reflection, so you take this off, put your little swab thingy on, just turn your little swab thingy on. Mine's still a little bit wet. I washed mine. Yeah. 
and you run this down your barrel a couple times, and when it gets to a hardened spot, let's go back and forth a little, and you can take this off. I actually personally didn't do this last part with blind shame on me, but and then I get this, and mine has, now I have to get this piece, like this, and screw this piece on. That's what's nice about this, is it just, you know, they're right on attachable. Which had this one over there. And then you run your little, it does come with one. These are for your little pistols. You're trying to, those for your bigger 38s, 40s. Guys. And then this one's for like your bigger guns, like your cold gauge. So, in that order, you know, you put them in this little apartment. Yes, yeah, so this is overview. And right here, you go swab in, and then you go. But this will only work. This is for the bigger gun. You want it. There is a smaller one for your pistols and 22s. I will show you this. And then we have our, our little adapter. Because I'm trying to do this. Oh, yeah, nice. I just dropped something. Nice. Good job. Then you get the two pieces. This one I actually don't think. Yeah, I put this one in earlier, didn't I? I didn't clean, use it to clean anything. But... And this should screw right on as well. Oh, give me a headache. I think it's a screw in. What? Nope, too long. Uh, I'm taking this back. It's too long, I won't go on that way. Yeah, clean those. Ah, oh, there we go. You'll only do it with two lengths. So I just got this yesterday, so. Um, I said get your little swab, just put those in. Use that. And that's it. That's, you know, and what I didn't do is I did not get my brush and scrub my chokes. So, next time I pull it out, get ready to go hunting, I will have to scrub down. This is a metal brush. You always do this first, and then you will use this as your final. But, I did not do that with mine. Uh, so, I don't think you guys really would have to either. But, commanded. But I will see you guys later.